Hi. Well, today I wanted to pray for you. You know, there's so many times that we just sit and we think if we just had someone to pray with us or if people only understood our situation. And, you know, the Bible tells me that prayer changes things. And yet, you know, sometimes we pray and pray, and yet we say, Lord, I wish somebody could understand. I wish someone would just pray with me. Some of us don't even have an outlet to uh, reach out to others to pray for them. And so today, that's what I want to do. I want to just spend some time, and I want to pray. I pray, want to pray for your needs. I want to pray and thank the Lord for what he's done and for what he's going to do. And always remember, the Bible says prayer changes things. So relax and, and let's go into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today, Lord God, for all that you have done for us. Lord, some of the things that have happened in our life we don't understand. But we know, God, that you are in control of every situation. And you have even said that everything works out together for our good. Lord, there's times when we don't seem to understand that it is for our good. And it's, it's kind of heartbreaking at times because of our lack of knowledge. Father, we thank you, though, today that everything that has happened in our life, even though it maybe has been on a negative note, that you have been there with us. Maybe at times we have never felt that you were there. But, Lord, we know that you were Today, Father God, I pray for my friend with me. For all those that are listening to this, I pray for them, Lord. You know each individual need. You know what they are going through. You know the circumstances of it all. And Father, you are a loving God that cares about us and loves us. And that you will work everything out. Father, we know sometimes it doesn't work the way we want it to work. You know, sometimes we pray and we say, Lord, we come to you, Father, and we say, Lord, you know, just could you do it this way or could you do it that way? But today, Father God, we come to you and we just ask that your will be done in our lives. Father, you take us and use us for whatever you would have us you be used for. Father, help us with our families or those that don't have families. Father, whoever is praying with me right now, Lord God, I don't know their situations. I don't even know who they are, Father God, but you do. And God, we just thank you that you are such a loving God and a caring God, that you are going to hear our cry. We give you all the praise today, Lord God, and we thank you. We thank you for the many times that you brought us through. Some we have known about and others we haven't, Father. But looking back, we see that you have always been with us in every situation. Today, we just thank you. We thank you that we can come and let our petitions be known to you and that you will answer. Father, most of all, we give you us. We surrender to you, Lord God, and, and we just ask that whatever happens is in your perfect will. We come against you, Satan, today, and we bind you in everyone's life that is listening to this. We bind you and we command you to let go in Jesus' name. We plead the bloodline around each person today that is listening. The blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for us, we plead that around. We ask for a hedge of protection to be around about them today. Lord, give them a great day. Give them that peace inside and that assurance to know that they have a Lord that is with them. That they are never alone, no matter what the situation and circumstances look like. They are not alone. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for that, Lord God, because there has been times, Father, before we came to you that we did really feel alone and and. You know, even afterwards, we got to be honest here, Lord, there's been times when I have felt alone too, but I know more and more, and as each, each day passes, Father God, I know more and more that you are with me, and you're not just with me, but you're with every listening ear today, everyone, Father, that calls upon your name. Lord, we give you praise today. Lord, you said that you would direct our paths. 
Father, we ask that you direct our paths today. Lord, may we be a, a blessing to someone else today, Lord God. Even though our situation may look grim, Father God, or our finances, some may have finances that they are needing, Lord God. But we just ask that you put people in our pathway and put us in people's pathway so that we can reach out and help them and encourage them, Father. Lord, you said that nothing was impossible for you. And you said if we had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, that we could say to this mountain, be removed and go into the sea, and it would do it. Father, today we ask that you build our faith. Make us strong. Lord, make us realize that no matter what the situation that comes our way, that you are with us. Lord, give us that strength. Lord, you say that we are weak, and we are weak, Father, but that you are strong. And you are strong in our weakness. We give you the praise and the glory. Today we pray for our families, Lord. We pray for all those that have taught us things and helped us. We pray for those that are sick today in our families. We ask, Father God, that you go to them, Lord, and touch their bodies. You are the great physician, Father God, and we just ask that you, you reach out to our families today, Father God. Our nieces, our nephews, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, our moms, our dads, our sisters and our brothers, Father. We just ask that you be with them, whatever they're going through, Father. Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you that we can come to you and, and ask you that. Father, we ask that you be with our enemies today. We pray for them, Father. Lord, sometimes we don't feel like praying, you know. Sometimes it's very difficult to pray. But, Father, today we come to you and we ask you to be with our enemies. Those that despitefully use us. Those have, that have taken advantage of us. Those that have uh, talked behind our backs. We pray for them today, Father. We just ask that you reach down your hand and, and touch their lives, Father God. We pray for those in prison today. Oh, Lord, the many, many, many souls that are locked up, those that are on death row, those that are incarcerated for many years, those who are in segregation, those who have been just, some are innocent and some are guilty, Father, and you know. But, Lord, we just ask that you t touch each life today. Touch each life of those incarcerated. Lord, Father, we just pray for the families of those incarcerated, the moms and the dads and the sisters and the brothers that have, have experienced a family member going to prison. Lord, it's hurtful. And you know, Father, sometimes we don't know the answers, but you do. And Lord, we just ask that you be with the family members of the incarcerated today. Father, we ask for special blessings on those that are traveling. We ask for traveling mercy, Father. The roads these days can be so difficult. But Father God, we just ask that you send your angels out there to protect them as they travel on the highways. We ask, Lord God, that you just give people wisdom as they drive. And just be by their side, Father God. Father, we pray for those who are sick today and in bed. Those who are going around and they're just not feeling good. And those in the hospitals, Father God. We pray for them. Those that are getting ready to have an operation and test, Lord God, we just ask that you be with them. Touch their body, Father. Lord, in your word you say that you are the healer. And you're the great physician. And Father God, today we just ask that you give those people that are, are very sick and are, are in a hospital where there may be an operation, like I said, is coming up or whatever it is, Father, that you will touch them today and give them a peace as they go through this. We thank you, God, that we can come to you and bring you every, every burden that we have. We just lay it at your feet, Father God. Father, we pray for those that have been in accidents and they're quadriplegic or they've maybe got some brain damage 
or there's something going on in their body because of this accident that they're not well. Father, we just ask that you be with them. Father, I just know that, you know, there's so many people don't understand the whys of everything, and yet we do understand that you, you're in control, that you are there, you are there to help the family members and to help the person that has maybe lost mobility and will never get it back. But Lord, we just ask that you be with them today and give them strength. Lord, we pray for the families of the cancer patients, the, 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 the children, Lord God, that have been diagnosed with cancer. We come against cancer in the name of Jesus. Father, we just ask that you be with those family members today and be with the children. Father, we pray for those on the street that are addicted to drugs. Oh, Lord, there's just so many, and Lord, it just seems to be getting worse and worse as we look around. But we pray for their souls, Father God. We pray for their lives. We pray for protection, and we pray for deliverance, Father God. Or sometimes we don't know how to really help them. But we know that you will give us the wisdom and that you're there. Father, they're not just people that live or homeless and they live on the streets and that, but they're your children. Some of them love you so much, Father God, and yet they're hooked. Their body is hooked to this crazy, crazy drug life. We pray for them today, Father God. Lord, we bring before you the children in sex trafficking. Lord, as we read in the newspaper all the things that are going on, Lord God, and it's just so sad. And yet, Father, we know that if we bring our petitions to you, Father God, that you will help. You will help bring, make people rise up and pray for these children, Lord God. We pray for the prostitutes today, Lord God. The people, the girls, and the, and the young men that are prostitutes and they're walking the streets and they're sick, maybe have AIDS or different diseases. And Father, we pray for them today that they can be delivered from this. Give them the strength, Father God. Lord, you know every situation and you know the whys and all that, Lord God. So we just bring them to you right now, Father God. We just thank you, God, that we can come before you and bring you our petitions. And we thank you, God, that you said nothing is impossible with you. Father, we bring before you the animals, the pets, the dogs, the cats, the birds, the animals out in the forest, Father. We just ask, Lord God, that you put a hedge of protection around about them. Lord, the people that have lost animals, that's their family, Father God, and they've lost them, and they're so heartbroken. And Father, we just ask that you help them, Lord God, help them. But also help the animal that is chained up in a backyard for years and years and years. Those that are being abused, Father God, we just pray for them right now, Lord God. Father, we pray for the children that are being abused in their homes the boys and the girls that are being sexually molested and nobody knows about. Father, we just bring them to you, Lord God, and we lay them at your feet. Father, they're so precious. Children are so precious, Father God, and, and we just ask that you do something to, to intervene in these situations, Lord God. Father, we pray for the sex offender today, the person that, is, that is, has maybe destroyed children's lives, and they, they don't know, some of us don't even realize the reasons why. We have, some have answers, and doctors have, have theories. But Lord, you are the one that knows everything. We pray, Father God, that they receive help. Father, we just pray a hedge of protection round about our lives. Everyone that is listening here, Father, we just ask that you bless each person. Lord, give them the desires of their heart. That's what you said, Father, in the word, that you will give us the desires of our heart if we just follow you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. 
We thank you, Father, that if we come before you and ask you to come into our heart and serve you, that you will you will bless us, Lord. And we thank you for all the blessings. We thank you for each day that you have opened up new doors. And Father, if a door closes in someone's life, Father, may they know that it's only closed for a season because another door is going to open up. Lord, we just give you the praise today and thank you. Father, we pray for our cities. Lord, those listening are probably from different cities. And Lord, we just pray today for our cities. And we ask, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit dwell in our cities. That all the things that are going on behind closed doors and the murders and the rapes and all that be, be stopped in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for our president, President Trump. We pray for him and his wife, Lord, and his family. We just pray for wisdom for that man. And we pray for, for doors to open to bring peace to our, our land. We just give you the praise and the glory, Father. We pray for Canada right now, Lord God. We pray for Mr. Trudeau. We pray for so, so many countries today. We bring them all to you. Father, this is your world. You created it. And you know what is going on here. And you know the desperation in, in some of the leaders. We don't... So the word says, you know, the word says to pray for those in authority over you. And we pray for them today, Lord. Father, as we close this prayer, we just want to give you thanks. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for what's going to happen. And Father, we just ask once again to bless those that are listening to this conversation, Father. Just give them a peaceful day and a happy day and an assurance that you are, you're there to help them and you are answering prayer. We just give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have a prayer request, please leave it in the messages below. Subscribe to our station and, and leave your prayer requests. I will put our email on the bottom if you want to make it a private prayer request. But please do that. We have a prayer chain that uh, goes all over the world. And people will be praying for you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.